Did you guys follow the Pokemon story about the cookies? I just want to say something about this that again, I have no issues with Pokemon as a capitalist, as a streamer, as a content creator. The only thing about Pokemon that rubs me the wrong way is like the same thing that rubs me the wrong way about Hassan or other content creators. When you were that wealthy, that rich and that famous, you don't get there by accident. You're playing a very specific capitalistic game and you're playing it very, very well, just like Logan Paul. So when people are willing to call Logan Paul a scammer for selling like quote unquote health drinks that aren't as quote unquote healthy for you, but they pass all the regulation that the states require, it's frustrating to me, I suppose, when they don't have that same energy for other content creators. But the thing about the Pokemon story that came out with her cookies, if you guys don't know, is basically she put out this cookie that was confusingly branded for $29 or $28. But the thing that was confusing is that we all thought it was for one bag, but allegedly it's for four bags. And Pokimane thought we were all so dumb for not knowing that. But the way she advertised it, the way it looked, the way it was perceived is everyone thought that. Asmin thought it, because that's who I heard the story from. We basically made this brand because why are there not more snacks that are simply healthy, tasty? So yes, we never call- What do you mean? What do you mean? It's all you need. Compromise on taste, but we prioritize health. Health is also a non-negotiable. Her website claimed they created these cookies. Everything alluded to the fact that these were new original creations. Sorry, I love seeing these behind me. Like, it brings me so much joy. Two years, bro. Two years! It then got exposed that there's actually cookies from Costco called Midnight Mini Cookies from Totsi, which had the exact same nutritional values as... Uh-huh. Pokimane's cookies looked exactly the same as Pokimane's cookies and have the exact same f name as Pokimane's cookies. The only difference was Pokimane's cookies had vitamin D in it. These cookies were only $10 for 14 ounces. Pokimane's cookies were 16 ounces of these cookies was $28. Cooled out. That's a lot, holy shit. Other people who covered the story thought it was that way. So they obviously did horrible branding. If even some of the biggest Twitch streamers were also like, wow, $28 for cookies, that's wild, right? Because that's the impression we all got. So she came out on stream and was like, you guys are so dumb, you're broke boys. And I don't know how you don't know, like how to read how much a cookie's worth. Pokimane responds to the price of the cookies. I'm like, oh my God, $28 for cookies? four bags that's seven seven dollars a bag i know i know math is hard when you're an idiot but uh, like if you're a broke boy just say so anyway. when people are like oh my that, god 28 dollars yeah, okay, is it yeah so like obviously that's really bad and like it's, it's super out of touch to say that it's dumb as to say that i don't know why she would say that but like, i have no idea why you would say that but it doesn't make sense like i i just i, I don't see the logic because like this is the thing right she doesn't put herself in a bad position whenever she does that she puts everybody that works on these cookies with her in a bad position because now she's created a bunch of negative pr for this company and these people that work with her the real scandal for me isn't that she's branding them a health cookie because like, what is a health cookie? Like, come on, please. I know what you mean, but it's silly, right? But also it's possible to sell like lower carb cookies. I have no sugar cookies in my fridge and they're delicious or my freezer. They're delicious Croatian cookies. I love them so much. And yes, I get them because they're no sugar because sugar causes inflammation and I have fibromyalgia. And so I try to eat better cookies, but I'm not, I'm aware that they're still cookies, right? So it's fine, okay? But the, the real scandal from a lot of people came from the markup because those cookies from the same manufacturer were being sold at Costco for half the price. Now, the issue, again, isn't the rebranding. I don't care if she rebrands and upsells the price because that's what all streamers are doing. When you put Rachel Ray's name on food, when you put Gordon Ramsay's name on food, you are upselling to the customer so they will buy it because of the name attached to the thing. That is what they're doing. That is pure business. So my issue isn't that she's a good capitalist. My issue is that people don't think she's different from Logan Paul. They think for some reason, Hassan and Pokemon, they're like better. But again, every time I see CoffeeZilla or someone like that go after Logan Paul, and yes, go after him for the crypto stuff, but for Prime, it just seems so tone deaf about how this works. And even Asmin covered this where he's like, yeah, this is what people do when they associate with big brands is you take a product, you rebrand it, you stick someone's face on it, and then you upsell it because that's how you make money. And people like Pokemon, Pokemon came out with a 
a statement saying, um, this isn't about money. I already have enough money. This is me trying to get a healthy snack out to the public. So you chose a cookie? Girl, you could have done beef jerky. You could have done fruit. You could have done so many other things, but you chose a cookie. And also, not that the cookies don't look delicious. Okay. Right? But it is one of those things where obviously it's a cash grab or at least it's good business. And I don't know why the audience isn't going to catch up to that fact. Even Mr. Beast, who I like so much, his latest video, so good. Buried seven days in the ground. Oh my gosh. Like my biggest fear. Love it. Love to watch it. Yes, he gives a lot of money to charity and I'm here for it. But first and foremost, he's a businessman as he should be. So this idea that some of these biggest, most richest content creators aren't all in the same game of winning capitalism is so funny to me. And again, you can have whatever fantasy you want about these YouTubers, but YouTube is a business and we're all here to make it a career. I'm here to make it a career. They're here to make it a career. They're playing a different game. They're going for sponsorships and general public. They are trying to make as much money as possible, right? And it feels fine. That feels fine to me, but I, you know, I always want to reassure the audience, like you need to stop assuming, you know what I mean? That these YouTubers aren't doing that. So you don't feel crushed when you find out like Jimmy edits his videos to be more interesting or Pokemon is doing a cash grab with cookies or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like, yeah, they're in it for money. They want your attention and your, the parasocial relationship. And they want you to think that they're here just for the health, just for the donations, just to help whatever. They're not. They're here for those things and mostly to make money. And that's the reality. Amaranth, all those people, God bless them. I'm here for it. Get your bag. Nobody streams that many hours a day and doesn't know it's about business. You know what I'm saying? Logan Paul is kind of stupid though. I mean, again, I don't know how you could say he's stupid. I don't know what that means. We all have a different definition of stupid, but I don't think I would ever call Logan Paul stupid. Unless you're moralizing it, then I could see how you're moralizing it. Oh, like he's stupid because he doesn't follow my values. But you really can't say he's stupid if you've seen the way that he's excelled and excelled and excelled. Even that infamous video that actually brought me to Logan Paul so many years ago, that like that eyeglass, the color, the colorblind glasses, that, that, those glasses that day, they were just thinking about how do we get views? How do we get attention? And they did it. And it's, again, it's different for people who aren't thinking that way. How do I get views and how do I get attention in a very like clickbaity way? But it does take a certain levels of skill or willingness to do something like this. And Pokemon has that within her. Hassan has it within him. Can you talk about the Hassan and Willie debate? No, I can't handle Hassan. He's obviously such a little like disingenuine, like not grifter, but he's like the same to me as Sneeko. He's the same to me as um, Logan Paul. Like they're all the same to me. They all have different motivations and they're all unique in their own way. I like plenty of things about Hassan. I like plenty of things about Sneeko. I like plenty of things about Logan Paul. But I also detest so many things about them as well. And I wish them all the best and introspection and growth. But Hassan is just so disingenuine. He's so obviously bad faith um, that I just, I can't engage. Like I can't watch him. I've tried so many times to give him a chance and I just can't stand him. I've tried to give Vash a chance. I literally cannot even... I couldn't even finish the interview between Erudite and Vosh. He's so weird. Like he's so into himself. I bet he's he's just too into himself. I can't handle it. So again, I'm not upset any of these people are capitalistically uh, like successful. I love that. That's my favorite part. Make your bag, girl. We're all going to die. Make your money. But I think for the audience's sake, I just want to remind you guys, right? Like these people are in business. That's what they're here for. And that's okay. But I'm so shocked when the audience is like, my YouTube content creator, they really care. Yes, they care to an extent because we're all human. I care, you care, we all care. But we all still have to go to work. It's the same thing going back to Justin Waller where he like puts people on a pedestal like this is the backbone of America. The backbone of America is a meaningless statement. Everyone thinks they're the backbone of America. Right? The backbone of America is teachers. The backbone of America is a military. The backbone of America is men. The backbone of America is this. The backbone of America is its people, period. And as a collective, like, it is what it is. So again, no, like, I'm not trying to shame Pokemon for being a good capitalist. I'm not trying to shame Hassan or Sneeko or Logan for killing the capitalist game. I'm just saying that is what they're doing, and they would never have gotten that far unless that was their goal. 
You have to literally care about money in order to make that much money. It has got to be the focus of your life. And I want people to know that's okay. I'm not moralized. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying you cannot in your brain ever think that that's not what's happening because then you're not seeing reality and you are believing some parasocial weird relationship with your content creators. And again, it's fine. Okay. But it is about money. It is 100,000 billion percent about money. And that's fine. There's nothing unethical about it being about money unless you're anti-money, which I am not anti-money. Thank you for being a member. <laughs> Thank you for buying my merch. I am not anti-money. And I, that's why I'm not angry at them for being good at being money. I think I just feel bad that I read like the audiences feel like they have this like parasocial misunderstanding that I'm like, you can love people and love their content and still enjoy these things about them. You know what I mean? It was like the Mr. Beast thing where people were like, I just didn't see Jimmy doing this. And I was like, how? How do you not know this is a business move? And then I have to wonder like, again, when like you go to Walmart and there's like generic brands and then the name brand, you know, this is the same product. It's just rebranded differently. I guess I was raised by parents who like taught me all of this stuff about people, but yet they fall for their own scams. Don't get me wrong. Everybody falls. Well, not a scam. That's the wrong word. Scam is like, I agree with Asmin. Scam is like when you expect to buy something and you get like something else. So I don't want to say, I don't think Pokemon means scabbing, scamming. I don't think Logan Paul scam with Prime. I don't think people are scamming in that way. I just think they're playing a really, really, really good game. And it's fair. It's a fair game. So again, when you go to Walmart and you see like the products or Target and you see like the generic brand and the store brand, they're priced differently, but they basically are the same product. And so again, like when you think like, oh, I'm, or in America, how they label things organic, look at the standard in which they're rating it organic. And then you can decide if you still want to pay that price because it might not be worth it to you once you realize that it, not all standards are good or the same. That's why you can be as angry at Logan Paul or, um, or Pokimane for selling quote unquote health food, but they are following the standards. You, they, you know, they can't just do this. They have to get it approved. And if they got it approved, then they're playing the game correctly. You can be upset about it and maybe you should be, but you need to really check yourself when you justify it from one content creator and not another. Because again, it's all the same thing at the end of the day. All right, that's my monologue on that. Thank you.